What is up everybody, Mr. McBonkers here. Today we will be cutting out an image using the brush tool in Photoshop. So the first thing we're going to do is to duplicate our layer right here. It's a good idea to do that with every project, just in case you mess up the one layer too much. Now let's go ahead and add a mask to this layer by selecting it and pressing this button down here. Now one thing I like to do is to take a rectangle with a solid fill color using a color that is not predominantly in the image and place that layer behind the layer of my subject. As I brush away the pink background, it reveals the blue layer underneath. It is important to note that when you're masking with a brush, you should have the foreground color set to black in order to hide pixels, and then set it to white in order to bring them back if you need them. So let's go ahead and start cutting out our subject. Here I am brushing short little straight strokes by holding down the shift key and clicking. When zoomed out, the straight lines are barely noticeable. You could also, of course, just freehand with a mouse or tablet if you choose. I just find this easier. Now that we've gotten to the hair, let's decrease the hardness of the brush. By holding down Shift, Control, and Option on the keyboard on a Mac and clicking and holding on the mouse, you can now edit the hardness and size of the brush as you wish. By moving the mouse cursor up, you are decreasing the hardness of the brush. By moving it down, you increase the hardness. By moving it to the left, you decrease the size of the brush, and by moving it to the right, you increase the size of the brush. Let's decrease the hardness of this brush for when we go around her hair. Now let's increase the hardness of the brush once again now that we are back on her shoulder and finish up the left side of her body. Now let's go ahead and start masking away the rest of the background. There, we now have our subject completely cut out from her background. Well, I thank you for joining me and I hope you found this tutorial informative and easy to follow. If you would, please hit that like button and subscribe if you would. It would be much appreciated. Until next time, guys. Peace out.